So not be talking just about ideas, but the actually be expressing the idea. Is there, you know, somebody in the, maybe you can comment, there's a guy, uh, his YouTube channel is three blue, one brown, Grant Sanderson. He does that masterfully well. Absolutely. Of, of uh, visualizing, of expressing a particular idea and then talking about it as well, back and forth. Uh, what, do you th what do you think about Grant? It's, it's fantastic. I mean, the flowering of math YouTube is like such a wonderful thing because, you know, math teaching, there's so many different venues through which we can teach people math. There's the traditional one, right? Well, where I'm in a classroom with, you know, depending on the class, it could be 30 people, it could be 100 people, it could, God help me, be a 500 people if it's like the big calculus lecture or whatever it may be. And there's sort of some, but there's some set of people of that order of magnitude and I'm with them for, we have a long time. I'm with them for a whole semester and I can ask them to do homework and we talk together. We have office hours if they have one-on-one -on -one questions, blah, blah, blah. That's like a very high level of engagement. But how many people am I actually hitting at a time? Like not mm. that many, right? Um, and you can, and there's kind of an inverse relationship where the more, the, the fewer people you're talking to, the more engagement you can ask for. The ultimate, of course, is like the mentorship relation of like a, PhD advisor and a graduate student where you spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time together for like, you know, three to five years. And the, the, the ultimate high level of engagement to one person. Mm -hmm. um, you know, books, I can, this can get to a lot more people that are ever going to sit in my classroom and you spend like uh, however many hours it takes to read a book. Uh, somebody like Three Blue, One Brown or Number File or... Um, people like Vi Hart. I mean, YouTube, let's face it, has bigger reach than a book. Like there's YouTube videos that have many, many, many more views than like, you know, any hardback book, like not written by a Kardashian or an Obama is going to sell, right? So that's, yeah. I mean, um, and, and, and then, you know, those are, you know, some of them are like, longer, 20 minutes long, some of them are five minutes long, but they're, you know, they're shorter. And then even so, you look, look, like Eugenia Chang is a wonderful category theorist in Chicago. I mean, I, she was on, I think, The Daily Show, or is it, I mean, she was on, you know, mm -hmm. she has 30 seconds, but then there's like 30 seconds to sort of say something about math, mathematics to like untold millions of people. So everywhere along this curve is, in, is important. And one thing I feel like is great right now is that people are just broadcasting on all the channels because we each have our skills, right? Mm -hmm. Somehow along the way, like I learned how to write books. I had this uh, kind of weird life as a writer where I sort of spent a lot of time like thinking about how to put English words together into sentences and sentences together into paragraphs, like at length, which is this kind of like weird specialized skill. <laughs> and that's one thing, but like sort of being able to make like, you know, winning, good looking, eye catching videos is like a totally different skill. And, you know, probably, you know, somewhere out there, there's probably sort of some like, heavy metal band that's like teaching math through heavy metal and like using their skills to do that. I hope there is at any rate. <laughs> their music and so on, yeah. But there is something to the process. I mean, Grant does this especially well, which is in order to be able to visualize something, now he writes programs, so it's programmatic visualization. So like the the things he, he's, he's basically mostly through his uh, Manum library in, in Python, everything is drawn through Python. You have to um, you have to truly understand the topic to be able to to visualize it in that way, and not just understand it, but really kind of think in a very novel way. It's funny because I've spoken with him a couple of times, I've spoken to him a lot offline as well. He really doesn't think he's doing anything new, meaning like he sees himself as very different from maybe like a researcher but it feels to me like he's creating something totally new. Like that act of understanding and visualizing is as powerful or has the same kind of inkling of power as does the process of proving something. You know, it, it just, it doesn't have that clear destination, but it's, it's pulling out an insight and creating multiple sets of perspective that arrive at that insight. And to be honest, it's something that I think we haven't quite figured out how to value yeah. inside academic mathematics in the same way, and this is a bit older, that I think we haven't quite figured out how to value the development of computational infrastructure. You know, we all have computers as our partners now, and people build computers that 
sort of assist and participate in our mathematics. They build those systems and that's a kind of mathematics too, but not in the traditional form of proving theorems and writing papers. But I think it's coming. Look, I mean, I think, you know, for example, the Institute for uh, Computational and Experimental Mathematics at Brown, which is like a, you know, it's a NSF funded math institute, very much part of sort of traditional math academia. They did an entire theme semester about visualizing mathematics, like, you know, the same kind of thing that they would do for like an up and coming research topic. Like that's mm -hmm. pretty cool. So I think there really is buy-in from uh, the mathematics community to recognize that this kind of stuff is important and counts as part of mathematics, like part of what we're actually here to do. Yeah, I'm hoping to see more and more of that from like MIT faculty, from faculty from all the uh, the top universities in the world. 